Oh, the great outdoors. <laughs> this is Grizzly Johnson here with episode two of Teach You How to Survive in the Wild. Animal. So, um, let's go. We're gonna go explore. I'm gonna give you a couple more tips this episode. Um, yeah, hopefully this will help you survive one day in the wild. Let's get across the stream. Alright. Oh, camera guy. Sound guy. Oh, yeah. The camera guy almost took a still there. That's pretty close. Alright, so basically, if you come across a stream like this, you know you're gonna be good on water. For the most part. You might have to boil it, but if you can find, like, a stream canal, like, fresh runoff coming into the stream, that's your best chance. That's cold for fresh water. So, um, yeah, let's see if we can find one. I don't know if we're gonna be able to. Don't really know the area too well, but, um, yeah, there's a lot of more things we can go over. So, um, there's not much food around here. I mean, there's frogs and, uh, fish, I guess. Lots of, lots of little fish. You catch quite a few of those, keeps you full. Oh, twist an ankle. Watch out, camera guys. Sound guy. Come on, sound guy. Sound guy almost took a spill earlier. It was, pretty, it was a doozy. It should have been there. It should have been there. Unfortunately, we were uh, trying to stop the video. But, um, yeah, right here, we call this rock right here. This rock. We call this grandma's rock. Because it's green. I don't know why we call it that, but um, Grandma's Rock. Alright, now we're gonna park on this log. Alright, alright, hit a little hard. And we got, there you go, that's, that's a better call. Good job, Grandma. Oh, wow. That sounds like an indigenous species of some sort. Let me see if I can catch us some uh, food or something. Um, yeah. Okay, let's throw that as well. Like I said in the last video, don't want to be wasting your energy on silly stuff like that. You know, if you guys want to see me tackle the hill, I'll give you guys tactics to tackle the hill. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to tackle this hill right here. Not a very big hill, but I'm going to give you proper climbing tactics. Alright. Church, I'm just going to speed roll this real quick. What you need to do. Oh. <laughs> oh. And you grab on the. Okay, oh. See, look at that. Easy as that. Easy as that. Anybody can do this. I'm not going to ask you to do it, camera guy, because you got a, you got a camera. But, um, yeah, step by step. Take your time, and you will make it up injury free. Uh, you go here, camera guy. We'll meet up on here. This part we're coming up to here, the locusts call Pinewood Force Tot because of, well, the corner just switches into pine trees for no reason. And then it breaks the quartzite, <coughs> strongest material in the world quartz. I don't know what, it's not very uh, foliated this year for some reason. What is this? That's just a stick. I need the stick around. Um, yeah, here's a beautiful little pond area. Oh, oh, got a little froggy. We got a little froggy. I'm gonna try to catch it. I'm gonna try to catch it right now. I missed him. I was the only source of food. Well, that's a disappointment, but you gotta keep your spear shot when you're out in the wild. That was a big ass horse fly, son. But I'm yeah. We'll proceed onwards, hopefully, we can come across another food source of some sort. So, um, yeah. Right, right, right. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna leave this 
stream all day. Never want to leave. Never want to leave the stream. We'll take you to civilization one way or another. We'll open up a new bigger stream. Take you to civilization. Guaranteed. Put on. Yeah, I could tell it was going to be around the edge here, so we just we just take a shortcut. We just some energy since we're not flying much food. Cutter our last obstacle here for this spot. Get off here, this spot. Oh, I believe this is the quicksand pit the locals were referring to. This is what I'm talking about in a second. So, um, get your hopes up. This is gonna be funny. Alright? Alright? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do a cannonball barefoot. Not really a cannonball, I'm gonna go around the side here, so hold on. Cody Lundin up in this house. I know, just to show you the effects of mashed potatoes or quicksand, I'm gonna jump out to there. We'll see what happens. All right, all right. So this is pretty sticky. What is a little bit numbing? Not gonna lie, I'll shrink a dinky. Um, Sorry about for that. Sorry about that. I mean, camera guy had a little issue. Camera work, everything. But um, we got we found potatoes, mashed potatoes. That's what we call them. That's what the locals call them as well. Okay, we're gonna call it quicksand. It's just really, really sinky mud. Don't wanna get yourself stuck in it. Sound guy's gotten stuck in there several, countless times. But um, I need to wash my feet off real quick. But um, yeah. So, thanks for coming back and staying through the video. Appreciate it. Um, we're gonna go a little bit farther down to know that we call it quits for this episode. So, watch out, sound guy. Sound guy. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, I lost the shoe. <laughs> lost the shoe. That's why you don't wear sandals when you go out lost in the wilderness. Drop a pan. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. So, um, I'm gonna scale this rock wall real quick. Deeper there than I thought. Okay, big horse fly. Let's see here. Alright. Never want to try climbing a mountain with sandals on, but that's all you got. You need to make do. Hmm. You guys remember when I fell off this? So yeah, when you get to this height, when I fell off this. this is where most people start getting nervous. But um, just power through. I promise you'll be okay. Don't let your fears get the best of you. Please don't break. All right. I've made it with no injury. Um. So that'll be the end of episode two. Uh, thank you guys for turning in. This is, uh, what's my name again? I can't remember. See you next episode. Bye.